when Max <laughs> when Max and I met five five years ago, <laughs> the first thing this man tells me is Good morning you guys and happy Saturday. I don't even know what day in November today is, but it's the eighteenth. It's the eighteenth. But I figured we would vlog this weekend and show you guys Hi, any fun stuff that we are going to get into. And right now we are just sitting with our coffee. We like to try and do on the weekend since we don't have a lot of time during the week. Um, we don't eat breakfast together during the week because Max wakes up at like 4.30. Uh, we like to spend as much time eating together and doing stuff on the weekends that we don't get to do during the week. So it's our little cappuccino date. Number one Ridgeback tip, even when you feed them, they'll act like they're starving. He literally and just went inside of his bowl and looked like he hadn't eaten yet. They act like they have never eaten in their life. <laughs> we just fed him. Well, we left the bag out, so he's like, it must still be time to... I'll take more. <laughs> you little ham right now? You like buddy. Oh, you buddy. Oh, yes. Little ham sandwich. Yes, 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 yes. Little ham sandwich. Oh. Hi, you still hungry? Oh. oh. So really, really easy breakfast hack that's super healthy and is actually insanely filling. Max actually got me hooked on this, is actually just yogurt for breakfast. And it sounds like it's not enough, but if you have full fat, whole milk yogurt, this one's mine, lactose free. Um, and Max has a skier. If you do the <laughs> skier, if you do that, some honey, Max likes lemon. I don't do lemon. Uh, and then some fruit. We have a pretty bomb breakfast that's gonna keep you full for at least a few hours, which I like. Cause if I eat like cereal for breakfast, which I used to in college, and I would eat cereal for dinner and lunch, but that's a different story. I would like be hungry in an hour. And so I was like, there needs to be more to life than this. <laughs> so I switched to yogurt and it is amazing. And I am somebody that hated yogurt with an insane passion but i found that adding the honey and fruit makes a huge difference and it's like really helps stabilize my blood sugar and make me feel better in the morning so full fat is critical yeah full fat is critical i had the fat free yogurt and it just wasn't the same so full fat try it out mix some honey um add vanilla and add some fruit you'll like yogurt crazy in the back seat. We are on our way to know, my in-laws who are house shopping and it's actually kind of funny because we all live in the same town as our my his parents and now my parents are house shopping and they are also looking in this town so we're just about to live with our whole family hey. which is just <laughs> kind of exciting. Oh, yeah um so we're gonna go check out a house that they're looking at and probably do a few more things with Atlas. And we have figured out finally, Atlas used to be afraid of getting into the car and we found a hack <laughs> to get him into the car because when he, at full size, is gonna be like 100 pounds. So that is just like way too heavy for us to keep- Picking him up. Pick, picking him up, yeah, and putting him in there. Um, and so we figured out by adding a little piece of prosciutto, we can get him into the car, so. And we are looking into like harnesses. Quite easy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking into like harnesses or like seatbelt type things for him. Um, right now we have like the hammock thing to kind of keep him, but I think I want yeah, something. Yeah, but I want something where he can clip. You want something yeah. where he can clip in because it's like a like a human for an accident. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of them are not safety tested, or they're not accurately safety tested. There's only like down, two but... brands that are, so we're looking into that and gonna Amazon it shortly. Safety, I'll just buy some paracord and lash it to the seat. Yeah, so. Put it down the lash. See you at the house. <laughs> house is super cute. 
but I have Mr. Atlas with me, so I will go hang out with him while they look at it. And this house is like a farm. Um, I have no idea why my father-in-law wants a house with a farm, but I that's like my dream house, so I'm not complaining. Uh, so we're just gonna walk around the grounds a little. It's a really cute house. And they have a horse friend. So let's go say hi. I don't think Atlas has ever met a horse, so that'll be fun. Is there a horsey? <laughs> but look how beautiful it is. This is literally where I would love to live. The mountains. Let's go see the horse. Can't get too close. Is that your horse friend? <laughs> Stay here. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. <laughs> oh my god, if this is not the cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay, Atlas, we're not gonna touch the horse. <laughs> we're just gonna look at him. We're just visiting. You cannot play with the horse. It's not a dog. <laughs> He's trying to play with it. <laughs> house shopping was kind of a bust. They did not like the house, but it was not a very cute house inside. It was a little outdated yeah. and it needed a lot of work for the price point. But now we are going to our favorite coffee shop, which has a very funny story behind it. But when Max, huh? when Max and I met five, five years ago, huh? the first thing this man tells me is we were talking about our love of coffee. And the very first thing he says to me is, oh, back where I live, I have a really good coffee joint. I'll take you there sometimes because they make the best coffee I've ever had. And so, it's taken him five years to okay, do Okay, okay. In my defense, uh -huh. they, in their old location, they closed, uh -huh. and so I didn't know where they were. Okay, yeah. They moved. Right. Now that being said, False I purposes. put zero effort into figuring out where they went. <laughs> But like two weeks ago, he surprised me and took me there as a little date. Oh, well, we live near it now. So. Yeah, we live right next to it. So now it's our favorite little coffee funny. shop. And I passed it's, it and I was like, holy crap, it it's, exists. It's like so good, it's so good. And it's super dog friendly. We take Atlas in there and they give him a little puppuccino and it's super cute. So he finally kept his promise to me and took me to the coffee shop after five years of waiting and it lived up to the hype. That's right. If yeah. you had, you know, good things take time. Right. You know, you Like this is the car vlog that never ends. <laughs> but we we'll only have been in the car today. Yeah, we've only been in the car today. We just got, we just left home, and we watched what was it called? American Crime, American Crime. on Netflix. We unwound, unwound a little bit. Atlas and I may have fallen asleep. Yeah. Uh, but American Crime is our newest Netflix addiction. And in the comments below, tell me what your favorite Netflix show is, because I think we'll need a new one after this. Um, I actually don't even know how long it is. I think it's three how seasons. Many? Oh, really? Yeah, but it's really good. It's a really like good it. show. It's definitely a realistic portrayal it's of... Like, uh, we like shows like that. But. Yeah, it's definitely a realistic portrayal of like <laughs> crime and like how things can kind of spiral out of control like when you get mixed up with like drugs and things like that. So it's definitely a really good show to watch. And now we're on the way to Max's parents because... Yeah, yeah. We have weekly dinner parties, which really works out for us because who doesn't like free food once a week? That's not why we go. No, we go for family time so they can see this little man. Look at him, he's like turned away and everything. 
Like, he's like, don't look at me. He's like, don't even. He's like, no, no film time. Right <laughs> he's like, no camera, Certainly please. Certainly not gonna cooperate. <laughs> And then we've been saying all day that we're gonna go to the gym tonight and work out. So uh, we're, gonna do it. we're gonna do it. It's on the vlog now. <laughs> so if you don't so. see a clip of us at the gym, that means we lied, or that I talked Max out of it. I'm going today. We're going with or without you. <laughs> oh, bold words. Bold, we'll see. Bold words. We'll see after dinner tonight. We'll see who. Yeah, that's true. We'll see. Are we getting wine? Oh no. I am so proud of us because we made it to. The gym. And our apartment gym is actually really nice for an apartment gym, and it's usually empty, especially on a Saturday night at 9 p.m. We're weirdos like that, though. But we said we were gonna do it, and we put it off all day, so we were like, tonight we were like, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. We didn't go the past two days, because life. Uh, and so we made it, and I'm really proud of us, and sometimes you make it, and other times you don't. It's totally okay. You just try and make it when you can and you try and do what you can. So today I'm gonna do incline lifts on the treadmill. Max does like a kettlebell routine because he usually lifts weights, but since we've moved and we don't wanna get a gym membership, he found his own little program to do, which is really cool. And then after I do my incline lifts, then I do a quick little circuit workout to kind of finish out the body and call it a night. So I'll show you bits and pieces of our workout. Excited that we went go back from the gym and I brought him a treat from the clubhouse which are literally cracked to him I don't even understand it at this point <laughs> you ate that already Max he ate his treat in like three seconds you ate it already you ate it already are right, you guys it is that time of the night to end the vlog, we are going to take it easy, relax, cuddle with this little guy. I don't know. It doesn't seem like I'm in much of a cuddling mood. It's not in a cuddling mood. Don't eat mood. the book. Don't eat the book. <laughs> I picked up a book. They have a little library at our uh, in our clubhouse. TV it's already playing. In yeah. our clubhouse. So I picked up a book. It's a really cute idea. I love it. Where we live, they have a lot of like take a book, leave a book places. That's that's true. There's like. I've there's seen like, four there's of them. Kind of seen like four of them, yeah. Yeah, they have, and like it's all some throughout. like three of them that we've seen are people's houses. Yeah, like people's houses, but the little at that right next to their mailbox, they have the library. Yeah. So cool. we're calling it a night, ending the vlog. We will see you in our next video. All right, have a good night, guys. Bye. See you night. <laughs>